Yo, what's good, my people? Guess what? We have been nominated for not one, but two awards this year. Woo, 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 woo. I want to say a huge thank you to the bad boys and bad girls, but guys, it is not over. We still got some little work to do. You guys need to vote for us to win. Guys, I feel like we really, really deserve this one. We have worked our ass off this year, okay? So what you need to do is you need to click on the link in the bio and you need to vote for Podcast of the Year, Guap Gala, Cocktails and Takeaways, and Podcast of the Year, Blogs Fee. Make sure you click on the link and vote for us so we can win, so we can win, so we can win. And oh, oh, enjoy the motherfucking episode. Per. In the video, you'll see that there was one speck of spit. Do you know what? That came out. That is still there on the mic. Yeah, and and and, and someone will. Oh, do you know? I can see it. Yeah. I can see the speck. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, there was a guy that was at the when this I was at nice. the bus stop. Yeah, I had a mm. meeting with um with our managers, big up our managers, and um I was at the bus stop waiting to um go home, mm-hmm. and there was this sexy guy mm-hmm. like beard. Uh, you know that when it's big but it's mature like he looks it's mature. not patchy and it's not patchy it's a sturdy beard sturdy beard Ever, everlasting everlasting beard steadfast <laughs> beard like thick 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 mm-hmm. thick saw him now coming out of a bike shop yeah and it was like it was like excuse me and I thought did I hear him? <laughs> so me, I was too, the beard was already, like, the way he was, yeah. in, only thing is, he was a little bit shorter than he used to, but you mm-hmm. know what, he was too fine. Mm-hmm. The sh- these days, the short boys are fine, I must say. I love short men, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, because you're like 4'1". <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I will flip this table! I will flip the table, everybody will, everybody will call me mad. You want to tussle? Everybody will call me mad. Do you want I will tussle? flip the table, because you know I'm 5'1". 5'1". <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You think you can rob me of that extra foot? I'm sorry. How that can it be well with you? That one foot. How can it ever be well with you? you when you want to rob me of my, of my true, what you, true what status? What do you think about that foot? That foot, lo- that foot is like a foot longer at Subway and that gets eaten in 10 minutes. You're, that you're, well, for you're me anyways. <laughs> you're a bitch. For me anyways. Anyways, I was like, excuse me. And I didn't even hear the list until he came, until like I came up to him to speak mm-hmm. to him. And he was like, yeah, so, so where are you from? And I was like, oh yeah, I live in Luton. He was like, Luton, that's kind of far still. <laughs> And I was like, oh no. But do you know what the problem was? It wasn't the lisp, it was the spitting. Oh, it was the spitting as he was talking. Mm. I was like, babe, you're too fine for this. No. And it was a thick spit. It wasn't was like it? a spray. Oh. It was like a punching, punching saliva oh. coming out of the mouth. Wow. It just wasn't, it wasn't sexy at all. No. That, that's a fucking ache if you ask me. Don't be like, you, know, you, know, you know that, um, it reminds me of that one, was it the head teacher in That's Why Ra- Raven? Oh yeah, that's a raven. <laughs> it's the future I can see. That song is so still is to me. Yeah, that's a raven. It's the future I can see. That song is so still is to me. Yeah. Did you yeah, hear that harmony? That's me. Did you hear that harmony? Listen, again. Po- yeah. We we'll do it again. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that doesn't strike twice. Yes, we tried. As they like to say. That's one we tried. We tried. Uh, tried. Off the dome. Mm-hmm. Natural. <laughs> yeah, the teacher though is like, excuse me, <laughs> Yeah, he was doing a lot. He was doing a lot. I I'm so thought. sorry, but his job role was literally there to spit. Do you know what? He was I getting paid to spit. I feel like my personality really came from Raven Simone, you know. That's a Raven. Do you know what I was thinking the other day, right? I was like, it's crazy how much influence the cartoons and shows that we watched when we were younger had on our per- have on our personality. Yeah, true. I watched the most psychedelically unstable, psychologically crim 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 <laughs> kind of shows. <laughs> I swear to you, I was watching. What was I even watching? Just a bunch of random things. Like you could tell that the creators of the shows were, were on acid. Must have been on acid. 
maybe a little bit of of shrooms of shrooms when yeah. they conceptualize these things because yeah. it's like how do you think of how that? did you think of that and then that now seeped into my cerebral your cerebral into my gray matter yeah into the humble and garden yeah mm-hmm. into the hippocampus the hippocampus yeah <laughs> <laughs> into the hippocampus yeah and then i now internalize it as my own personality do you know who do you know who has a strong hold on my personality tell me i must say tracy beaker tracy beaker tracy fucking beaker really I was, tracy. i'm gonna say grim from grim adventures of billy amandi the the the, the, the jamaica yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grim, that why still remains as like my favorite why was the skeleton who thought to put the give, give us skeleton of jamaica <laughs> That gave Sebastian from Little Mermaid a Jamaican <laughs> <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> yeah, that no, shit's honestly, so like, like who d- <laughs> have you ever tried to run away from home before? I I grew up in a very loving home. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking bitch. You're a fucking bitch. I grew up in a very loving I keep home. Saying, I keep saying, me and Shia are the same except for the parts of our, our childhoods. I feel like I was the, you know the blood brothers. Blood, where the, blood brothers. Listen, you know I the, love that. You know when the sun gets put mm, into in the, the ghetto. And then the other one gets put into the ghetto. You're the one in the ghetto. I'm the one that's going to the ghetto. <laughs> they left my I'm ass sorry, in the hood. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, sis. They left my ass in the hood. I'm sorry, sis. But well, I was saying, my character, my, my personality trait case comes from Tracy BK, yeah? And there was one time where I tried to run away. The thing is, the problem with fucking Tracy BK, yeah, is that they really glorified the social, social... Um, housing. House, not social uh, what, what was it? it? What did they call it? Running away children. Foster home. Foster home. They really made a foster <laughs> home. Running running away children. Children. <laughs> they Take really made back. foster homes, yeah. The fucking <laughs> look like team, yeah. like it was the like team, the like it was the, the fucking motive like, after school. After school, yeah, like, yeah, let's, yeah, go, let's go to the foster let's home. Let's go and be foster <laughs> children. <laughs> after school. I thought, after I wanna, fifth period, let's go and be foster children. I wanted to be a foster child so bad. <laughs> really? I was like, somebody needs to adopt my ass. I was like, I'm gonna go because listen, clearly their life is better than what I'm living here. You that said that your mom doesn't know how to make rice and soup. Please. Listen, you need to <laughs> You know, the way Joyce, the way Joyce was you know unprovoked. You know what? You were attacking your mother's cooking. So I unprovoked. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Do you know what? <laughs> Basically, Fuck. me and Shia had a shoot, yeah. You guys don't know me and Shia were, uh, we're in the same management. So we had a management yeah. shoot. And um, we were sitting down and then they were like, oh, what's your best food to cook? And I was like, well... Something about family recipe, generational so, recipe or something. They were like, what's, your genera- what's the generational recipe that's, that's been passed, passed down? down? And I said, well, I don't really have one because I don't feel like my mum can cook too <laughs> tough. <laughs> and then, as if that wasn't bad enough, my good sis, now I came and said, even rice and stew, she didn't. No, no, wait, that's not what I said. I said, that's not what I said. My mum could definitely cook rice and stew. Uh-huh. My mum could definitely... Her jello fries, like, could be better. Oh, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? But it that's a, okay. okay. Let me know let me now. Come and add slander no, to mommy's name. Add sorry, mommy. She, she could, she sorry, could mommy. whip up a couple one, two, three. Oh. But she's not gourmet. Do you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But I said I want to, I could cook rice and stew. Do you know what? To be honest, yeah, because I grew up in that setting, I for a long time did not know how to cook Niger- uh, African food. Well, yeah. let me say something about Shayo. I'm bush. Shayo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a house girl. <laughs> you can take the girl out of Nigeria, but you can never take Nigeria out of the girl. I swear, I'm Shia so is one bush. of the bush. I knew oh. when Shia, now I got to tell this story. I knew Shia was bush yet. <laughs> I don't know why I told this story, but it kills me every time. Me and Shia just moved into her new house. Oh, yeah. It was bad enough. Shia came with the Ankara print bag. <laughs> Shia has an Ankara print bag that she brings with her, yeah. And one of those fucking granny trolleys, <laughs> yeah. Leopard print. <laughs> and the fucking granny, no. The granny trolley was leopard print. Yeah. So, one thing about Ooh. a Nigerian woman, she ain't never gonna buy black. <laughs> she will buy back. any fucking color except black. So hot. She got the fucking trolley, yeah. Mm. And then the Ankara leopard print bag. And these times, I hate walking. And that's nothing. <laughs> Listen, guys, let me tell you something. Yeah, Shia oh. can walk. If you, if you ever meet Shia, just look at her, yep, her look legs. At my calves. Yeah, look at her calves. That girl can I walk. She's got strength in that leg of her. <laughs> she got the strength of a lion. Mighty. She got strength like ballerina. Like, <laughs> like, you could do ballerina. I really could. And then, 
she, I was so hungry because me, I don't like any sort of form of exercise, basically. <laughs> and she she can walk to next, walk to Woolwich, walk to I will. Aldi, I will. walk to M&S. Walk I to, will. By all the time, all the walking, I was fucking tired. So I was like, I was like, shut Joy, up. So one thing about time. Quickly, one thing about Joy, she likes to complain. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce likes to complain. <laughs> Even the thing that she's about to complain to you people about, you'll come and see now when she tells the story, just how much it was her saving grace. Continue to tell your stupid story. I'm making me look like a like a like like one bush woman. C- continue. 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 So I was in B and W after the seventh. We've we now entered the seventh. We're just store. going zigzag. We're going zigzag. zigzag, zigzag, zigzag up and down, fam. I've not eaten. I've told I'm not Brilliant. eating, fam. So we're in B and M, yeah, and I'm like, fucking hell, man. I'm so hungry, yeah. No word of a lie. <laughs> no word of a lie, yeah. Shia opens her Ankara bag, yeah. She goes, "Do you want peanuts?" <laughs> carries around a case of peanuts <laughs> i do and i do said, and then i said i, I looked at her <laughs> and <laughs> i said you took my pictures and i was looking at her like why the fuck have you got those in her bag and she, she was like hold on wait i think i've got water <laughs> <laughs> because the nuts can dry your throat so why would i how could i bring peanuts <laughs> They're the coconut. No, do you know what? They're the coconut shelled ones. If you know, you know the Shire. coconut shell peanuts. Yeah, in the little blue. <laughs> 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 Shire. It was just a pop, and she was standing there. Yeah. <laughs> she got a leopard print fucking drug case. Yeah, a fucking Ankara print bag. Yeah, and she's holding. She's holding peanuts, man. I just said, fam. But did you eat it? <laughs> <laughs> did you eat it? <laughs> did you not? De- did you not tell de- wash it down with the water? I'm not gonna huh? lie. I'm not gonna Was lie. that not what you needed at the time? I ate the peanuts. Uh-huh. I actually ate the peanuts. Uh-huh. Do you know what? I'm so embarrassed to say it. Silly Billy. Why, why would you be embarrassed to say it? You were hungry. I was there. You had the food. It's like I'm such an older sister. That's the thing. Yeah, I always I have. Is small things that might like she i was okay t- she's somebody will need tissue. this somebody, if you need tissue i will have if she you need have. handkerchief go i will have if you have if peanuts, you want if, pe- if you're hungry if there's you're peanuts hungry, there's peanuts so what can you cook what can you actually cook like i can i can cook a lot you know it's you're wild because your game is strong it's your wild because uh, you know what yeah sometimes when you say that i feel like there's a little bit of sarcasm that comes with it because one that one jollof that i did <laughs> <laughs> okay, there was one gel off you gave to me that was a bit. Ugh. I know. Do you know what it is? It's because I used a different. I used bad rice. I used bad rice. I used I bad still rice. Ate tisha. I know you did. My good sister that asked for seconds. <laughs> when he, when I gave, I you know I served you one takeaway container. You looked at it like I like I like I slapped your mum or something. And she said, "What's this? If you're gonna be takeaway, I need a takeaway." <laughs> I need to take no, listen, that that I'm, batch was that batch. I didn't. I really didn't like it. The no, rice I was. Loved, I don't know. The rice was that. not. The rice was not it. The, when I see that, I love that. Like the fact that you can cook all the stews. Yeah. The, the, me, I didn't learn jollof rice till two years ago. I think Is it's it? even lockdown. Didn't have to make it. Yeah. I, I kind of realized. Do you know when I started realizing that I need to do better? I started dating. Nigerian men and mm. obviously when we're younger cooking is not a thing when you start yeah, looking course. into the adult side of things you're like bruv I'm like and your baby's like oh yeah you know I want you to make me effering I'm like the fuck is effer what <laughs> like oh that stew that's that fucking leaf thing and I'm thinking I actually don't know how to make anything so mm. YouTube was my best friend so I actually learned how to make jello fries yam porridge effero even the way you're saying like, it should I say it with base yam porridge? Asaro. Asaro. <sighs> Eferiro. Eferiro. Um, Iwedu. Iwedu. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Good, um, what? Obono. Oh, Obono. <laughs> it's Obono. 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 If you want yeah, to make it say uh, Obono. You know when people say Yoruba is an aggressive language, it's their father that's aggressive. Don't so don't really, come you, you said my... it the same, but you just did a sexy 
<laughs> Listen, I don't want to. Before do, Nigerian, Nigerian I, I, I wanna, Instagram and Twitter, when I come out, I don't want to fire your bomb around too. They love to flog you. Leave my sister alone. If it's not the Nigerians, it's the Ghanaians. Don't mind them. If it's not the Ghanaians, it's is the it's the Polish. They need to leave me alone. Don't don't. Kilo Shesi Polish. What did you do to the Polish people? That's another story for another day. What did you do? Is it about the head shape? Polish people. I have, I know a lot of. I didn't even say that. Don't add to me, please. Okay, don't, sorry. I, don't add to my list of vlogging. Sorry, don't add to my list of vlogging. Sorry, sorry. Vlogging. I sorry. Gonna have a bitch I wears. Sorry, but I actually wanted to talk to you something very quickly. Tell me. Obviously, I read something today, and I just thought, why do why do men hate us? Wait, it was something that um, uh, Keith Gates, who's a rapper, he said, women who give the best sex are the ones with acne uh-huh. because of the hormonal imbalance. So women that that's not like, even funny because I actually have a hormonal imbalance. That they have a I just, hormonal I don't imbalance. Have acne How though. true is it? But you can fuck though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. Maybe the base of the hormonal balances. Yeah, but why do you have to things. add the acne to it? Because you know, men, they're just dumb. It's like hormonal balance only applies to women with acne. But you're stupid. Your skin is phenomenal. Thank you, my dear. Very succulent. There was one There was one girl. I don't even know which event it was. I was I was at. She must have accidentally kind of like, I think she was kind of like, get me to, trying to get me to maybe like step out of the way because she was coming through. Uh-huh. She touched my arm. My, 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 my bicep. Mm-hmm. She touched it. She said, Oh my God, you're so soft. <laughs> oh my God, you're so soft. <laughs> she didn't say it like that, bitch. No, she didn't say it like that. But in my head, I'm just thinking, it's like you people think they, they call me succulent shire for no reason. Who's my that? soft. Who's that, you know, that? that's, that's what my, my auntie calls me. Your succulent auntie? shire. Succulent so just your auntie then? My auntie and my lovers. <laughs> Kidding, no. Um, my auntie and, and, and my, now I said it. My lovers, what? My soft. I'm soft. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Come and beat me. What do you want me to do? I'm What's soft. What's the routine? Because honestly, I I really envy people like you because your skin is, like Shao's skin is so nice all oh, the thank time. You, my dear. Phenomenal. People like me, I've got acne scarring. I've Hello. got I've got acne. That palette was so. Maybe fantastic. you're the one that. Um, they're Uncle, talking about Uncle Gates is talking about hormone imbalance, hormone imbalance, acne and kini. Do you know what? Yeah, if that's if that's the new trend, if that's the new trend, please, please jump on it. I receive it. Even even gate keep it. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> even gate keep it. Trust me, too, trust I'm me. I'm a big fan of gate keeping. Do you know what's so funny? Big fan trust, of gate Trust me. If this goes, trust if you. this goes, if this becomes a thing, yeah, mm. you'll just see the girls on TikTok. How to get acne one on one? Yeah. If you put oil on your face, mm. and then they'll be holding up the product like and this. They'll be holding <laughs> They're holding up a product like this. Or oh, the, no, the TikTok one is. This is real. Shut up. I, I did struggle with acne growing up mm. um, in year seven. I started mine really early. But now it's not too bad, but I do have quite a lot of scarring on my back, on okay. my arms, on my face. I know the babes are talking about green pill, which I'm going to jump. I'm green pill is. Green is pill. Have you done it? No, I've not done it, but my I hooked up my two brothers. Um, yeah, no. look at you, big sister. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Um, I hope that my two brothers, so they've had um, green peels, mm-hmm. and the difference that is made to their skin is crazy. Like, wow, yeah, Jerry, my youngest brother, he had um, like acne and stuff in it. So, mm-hmm. from the acne, he had acne scars and stuff like that. He's a he's, a, he's one of the most ha- he's so handsome, Jeremiah. He's such a handsome, yeah. pretty boy, yeah? yeah. So, when the even with the acne and all the all the marks, he was still getting, yeah. I did not understand it. Do you get? I didn't understand it. Me, I'm too shallow. I wouldn't be able to look past it. Do you get? Mm-hmm. But once he started having the the chemical peel and whatever, everything was just everything. Obviously, it's not a martyr, but it, it was, started it to look better. Yeah, it started, yeah, it started to look a lot better. And that Honestly, was after like I had, I had it's really good. Do and it. I had it's natural. I, I, I had a um test, a patch test. Mm. 
so I'm gonna be going for the first round. But everyone, Ooh. like all the girls, I've been screaming about green pill, green yeah. pill, green pill. But it's it, again, it's something that us girls all struggle with. Like I know there's some pe- there's there's some medication that people take. Yeah. That there's what I remember one girl, her acne was fucking bad. Mm. Like bad. Like you know mm. when it starts looking bulgy, yeah. bulgy, oh, bulgy. Oh, bulgy. Like the, the, I really feel for people oh, that have that that level of acne. Yeah, to that to that that extent. extreme. She, she's just popped a couple pills and she stand up like she, 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 trust me within six what months, was this pill yeah, i don't know what the pill is called but it's something that they prescribed to you i think it's a strong steroid or something oh, okay. like that something strong but with with those with those pill, yeah. though isn't it that you have to keep using it otherwise it comes back or something it comes or back, like yeah. side effects i don't know stuff. i don't know what exactly if it's a steroid Ste- but yeah steroid i know sometimes are the quite... medication that when you use it when you when you stop using it the thing will come back. It's the same thing with the whole eczema thing. Like, funny, weirdly mm. enough, there's on my TikTok, there's all these eczema people going on fucking steroid withdrawals. Yeah. Ste- I, yeah. I was wondering, what did I do? What did, did I, I do? What did I do? What's this algorithm doing? I this think, algorithm making it. I hit a lot of eczema. There was, a, there was eczema. a, it's so weird. Yeah, like, I, I went through a phase where my TikTok for you page was, was 1,000 reasons not to get pregnant. Fuck them kids. <laughs> As ready. <laughs> Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. I lost my my left breast and my right toe during pregnancy. My stomach turned, I I don't know, my my stomach grew a second chamber in during pregnancy. And then it then it then changed to all this skin kidney. They're just like rebelling against the steroid cream. My thing is, I didn't ask to see this. (laughs) (laughs) I I respect your journey. It's your thing. Do you get? It's not for me. So TikTok, I beg, please. Because it's like a jump scare sometimes. Because some people's is so like extreme and they extreme. talk about how extreme it is and how uncomfortable it is, right? And me, I'm very like, whoa, like it's it's very jump scary. I'm quite fascinated by the whole no, thing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm because not, man's man. coming there with him skin peeling, him skin no. shred. But again, that's the type of TikToks that I, I kinda like because I like when people are ballsy. Because me personally, if I have eczema, I'm slapping that E forty five one shot. Me, do you know what and for I'm me, taking that any steroid kind, cream? Like, discomfort and uncomfortability and all that stuff. like when i see that they just look so uncomfortable and i'm so used to being co- i'm so i love being comfortable you to do. the point i love it you do i love being comfortable to the point in which other people's discomfort makes me uncomfortable and i don't like that you're here your eczema is flaring up you're, Fla- you're, nah, you're not using steroid cream anymore mm-hmm. you're uncomfortable you're in pain i f- it, maybe it's the empath in me who knows <laughs> maybe it's the empath in me who knows but it just makes me it just makes me feel like uncomfortable it makes me feel uncomfortable girl it's an uncomfortable i feel like it's an uncomfortable thing but in the longer process like i see why they're doing it because it's yeah. like it's like short term it's like short term pain and uncomfort for long term results they said afterwards i'm not gonna lie man <laughs> even short term short term discomfort ugh. Me, I'm all about I'm, a, I'm all about the it. long game. But guys, without can't further ado, I'm going to introduce my guest today. I don't think she needs an introduction because she just she loves it, Loki. It turns her on. But I'm gonna <laughs> give it to her anyways, because that's what we do on the show. Right. We have the return of someone very, very special. I'm okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> no, you fucking, no. fucking ruined it. I was mate. just I was just saying that I said fucking ruined it. No, 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 no. I thought mean, I mean, you said extremely. No, I said it's tingling. <laughs> it's tingling. Extremely ex- it's tingling. I don't know which which one of your which side of your brain is hearing extremely because I said it, it's tingling. I want if you to do run a, if, we, if we I do want ASMR. To back. Even play in slow motion, come and beat me. <laughs> play in slow motion. Play in in reverse, like the Illuminati people. <laughs> do you remember that period when everything was worse? What are you saying? <laughs> everything was Illuminati. If you rewind the song backwards, you'll hear that the bird. The, if you if you rewind, you'll back. hear the the demonic the, demonic something. sound. Whoa. Guys, can we can we get through this? <laughs> yes, we can. <clears throat> I need to read my intro. Oh wow. Thank oh, you. that's cute. Yes, I have it written. Uh, I have it um, written. That's nice. <clears throat> okay. Hey guys. <laughs> so we have the return <laughs> from one of our amazing guests mm-hmm. with us this week. Mm-hmm. She is an entertainer, a poet. And she is definitely no stranger to the show. <laughs> Make you sure wrote that, editor. Yeah. Oh no, my editor's not in this week. Oh. I can't even do the 
sound effects. We've got Moses. Big up Moses. What's, what's the sound effect? Maybe I can do it with my mouth. Like, bling. Okay, okay, okay I'll, I'll start again. <coughs> She's an entertainer. She's an entertainer. She's an en- entertainer, a poet, and she definitely is no stranger to the show. Bing. <laughs> that was perfect. I'm not even going to lie. Guys! <laughs> We've got fucking Simply Shy on the motherfucking building. <laughs> do people cheer for themselves or do they do that yeah, fake humility do. thing where they're like, oh, yeah. Mm. It depends, you know. He's so big. Woo! 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 Call me, bitch! Yes, me! Do you know what? I'm so fucking gassed to have you here, man. If you guys already know, oh. I, think, I think the first time Shia came on the show, we were definitely cool. We were friends. Mm-hmm. But this right here, that's this is my Sis. fucking dog right now. This is my fucking charge. As you can tell, the energy is different. We are in love now. We are, we are, we are lovers. Love. We are lovers. We are lovers. We are definitely lovers. That's what we are. But my dear sister, how's your week been? Talk to me. What day is it? Fucking up. It's <laughs> Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Weekend. I was trying to get the key. I wanted to. I it took also a while. wanted to balance. I think because of the. The bubbles in my throat. It Don't was, worry, we'll, we will still try again. It's all right, it's all but right. talk to me, how has your week been? <sighs> my week has been... My week has been good. Good. Oh, I can't even remember it. I don't even... You know, I never know what day it is yet. Mm-hmm. Once... Th- the minute we stopped having to write down the day. As on school. that, our school notebook. Yeah, I've not known the day. I've not known what day it is. Mm-hmm. I never know what day it is. But my week has been good. My sister's staying with me for the next couple of days. Her. So there's going to be, it's, it's a very loud apartment. Um, But yeah, no, what have I even done this week? I genuinely can't remember. You've just been existing. So I've just been existing. has a very soft life because she spends very. most of her life taking naps. <laughs> um, And existing yeah. and just waking up. Yeah. Which I, which I wish I could live. I'm going to the pool. But I'm so used to toil and fro that I, I don't know. know how to come out of Listen, it. if you if you are ever in London... Or you're on your way, on your, or you're traveling from Luton to London, London to Luton, and you see one girl l- dragging luggage, dragging Portmoto and Ghana must go. <laughs> luggage, Portmoto and Ghana must go. Looking angry. Looking angry. It's Joyce. <laughs> it's me. But guess what? It's Joyce. Very motherfucker for the habit because I have officially. Oh. So stupendously. Oh, oh, oh. Gloriously. Gloriously. Marvelously. Marvelously. Mm. Miraculously. Miraculously. Perfectly. Succulently. <laughs> deliciously. Have moved out. <laughs> Get your fucking tits out. Get your fucking tits out. Get your fucking. You have enough breasts for everybody. And their grandmother. Wait, why was that the first thing that came to your head? I like breasts. Okay. Thank Thank you. No, guys, seriously, I've moved out. Um, I'm now living in London. Um, I'm 15 minutes away from Shire, which is super cool. I've moved out. So, everybody that has given me loot and slander prior to this, which is a lot of quacking people, <laughs> you can all collectively suck each other's mothers. Suck your mom. Yes, thank you. Suck your mom. Thank you, Mariah Carey. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Suck your mom, because yep. I... Have moved to London now. What, I'm London what, bound. What is Luton? What? Where is Luton? Where is, is, is that some sort of is that a, viral is, is that disease? A gym exercise? What is that? Is that a sort of glute activation? Position? I don't know. Work is, is it? Is it a sex position? Luton. The Luton. The Luton. Does it involve your groin and your leg up <laughs> like that or? I'm Which one is it? Because we cannot relate. We cannot longer relate. We can't relate. I guess we cannot we'll longer know. relate. I guess we'll never know. But we I'm no so longer relate. gassed. Honestly, I can. This Luton's is the, ghetto, man. So sorry. I, I, where, I don't know where so that is. What I'm is so, that? Do you know what? Funny enough, Shia was casting Ben about she used to live in Luton also. She's a Luton born. And she's different because I was actually bred in Luton. Did you just London. say Luton born? She was bred, bred in Luton. She's a Luton. Luton what did they call it? Luton, 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 don't oh, mind them. Silly Luton. Luton. <laughs> <laughs> Them and them and that their stupid hat factory. Fucking <laughs> okay, no, Lithonia. She's a Lithonian. That's how I met Shia because we actually we were from the same city. We went. Where but, do we remember that time where we ran into each other in the market? We both look like fucking bums. Like, that's, <laughs> no, that's the thing. Listen, we look like a bum. I was like a bum in that fucking city. I was city. like a bum. I don't think I even bath. I don't like expect. I don't think I even bath. I could smell it. <laughs> I don't want to say anything at the time. We were that. We were. 
Boys. boys. I was yes. well. I was just like, one boys. I can't remember why I was running to town. I must have run to town to the shower and I was like, yeah. I saw you and I was like, that's the worst time to see someone <laughs> that you know in the industry, but you don't even know them like that, like that. But we're both mad anyway, we're so it was alright. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there was like yeah. a conspiracy of silence. We looked into each other's eyes like yeah. we're not gonna say anything about the wings. <laughs> <laughs> there was a mutual agreement. We're, there was that understanding. With eye contact, mm-hmm. yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But honestly, I'm I'm so excited to kind of decorate and get my stuff to honestly. I'm so excited for you. I think your apartment and how you've put yours together definitely mm. has made me excited about mine because Shai's house looks absolutely Thank phenomenal. Thank you. It's not even done. My my artwork is only just arriving now. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna have like four. Are we gonna get a tour? Everywhere. Are we gonna get a, a little a little of course, well, not of course. Shai's house is pretty fucking big. She's yeah, not, I love it, man. Do you know what? Well, weirdly enough, yeah, we live. I'm not gonna say the floor name, but we live on the same floor. Oh, is it? Does yeah. yours feel like you're on that floor though? Yeah, it does is it? quite fucking. I don't high. feel. Like, I don't feel like mine does. Yeah, you because you want to go and meet Jesus in heaven. <laughs> that's why. That's fucking. So right. I'm, I'm, I'm easy, easy to transport for rapture. Here you get. God doesn't have to work that much. You must watch to come and get other you, people. Uh, uh, other people that are going to have to <laughs> queue up. You I'm, I'm, I'm already there. You can jump. You know. I'm even just jump, <laughs> and I'll be there. <laughs> you are so fucking. <laughs> Just jump. Oh, oh my I'm god. Yeah, Guys, yeah. please, let's play win or bin. <laughs> Fucking hell. Do you know what? The reason why I'm moving so fast is because I came late. So it is we've, we've got we've got a sh- we've got a short time. Don't flog me, guys. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna play win or game. Win or game. Mm-hmm. Oh my, I'm not even drinking. You're not even drinking. I'm on water, guys. I decided to go on a low carb diet, which means no. This is me very sober. A lot of people ask me. They're like, Joyce, are you always drunk on your episodes? And this is the first time. No, this actually no. This is not the first time I haven't drunk. This might be the second or third time I haven't drunk. Mm. But we'll see. I'm not even gonna lie. You've got such crackhead energy that Any, they, when yeah. you're drunk and when you're tipsy and when you're sober, what's the difference? What's the difference? Listen, when, you two. Ah, bro. I'm the crackhead of all crackheads. No, when guys, I was dancing, doing contactless, hey, I was hey, about man. to say that. People are like, oh, what's what she been drinking? What's she been? I was stone cold, cold fucking cold sober. sober. What are you talking if about? You guys went, if you guys know Shia, there was a shade bara thing that went around and Shia there was a video of Shia and she was literally doing she was on she was doing shaking her breast and there was a guy that was swiping contactless payment mm. on the fucking video what you guys don't know about that specific video is that prior to that Shia had already been on the dance floor for like three hours mm-hmm. to be fair I keep saying Shia has the stamina of Mo Farah <laughs> I keep saying it honestly one, I need to, one cross country runner like Shia, could, like Shia, the, like could, the Shia could do cross country. I did. I, you, I almost fainted one time in um, secondary school. And she stood up almost. You still almost. went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a quitter, baby. I'm so competitive. Shia can so, fucking. Nah, man. She got stamina. Mm-hmm. She she beat up that dance floor <laughs> like a bomber class. <laughs> All right, guys, I just love having fun. No, what I do you want like, me to do? I like having no. Shia Go to a motive and not have fun. Shia Come on, man. That, like, I'm not cool like she that. She will <laughs> jump on the chairs and she will twerk her bum. Like yeah. Shia is. If you want to have a good time, a reckless time, please. Shia reckless. is your partner in crime. But if I cried, move. it don't. It doesn't mean anything. I need to move on. Mm. Let's do it. We're not bin. So you know the name of the game. I'm gonna mm-hmm. give you a topic of conversation and you're gonna tell me whether it's a win or a bin okay. and why. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Right. Win or bin. Dating multiple men at once. Win. Why? What the fuck I look like? An idiot. <laughs> Dating multiple men. That, that's what everyone does, no? Not everyone. Well, it, is well with, it will be well with you. You people who want to date one man. At, it's just like, you're not committed to mm. any of them. You're dating. Until somebody or one of them decides that okay cool i want to take something i want to take it seriously with you i want to take it serious with you and whatever i want to be exclusive and whatever mm-hmm. do you expect me to just be waiting around for you to make that decision or or what obviously that's not to say that a woman can't be the one to initiate the exclusivity term mm. of their relationship or whatever you would you would initiate exclusivity i don't even like men like that i'm not gonna lie i don't, <laughs> I don't even care for men like that uh, what do i care by <laughs> exclusivity <laughs> i don't even care about men like that <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you, but for, for me, it's like you're I'm assuming you're young, and you're not like, yeah, like why would I okay, one man at a time? Imagine if that, it doesn't work out, and you're just there. You've now wasted your time with this one person. And then you're gonna have to. Say, do you get? It? And you've abandoned. Don't block your blessings. Yes, true, I agree. Do not block your blessings. I fucking agree. I'm gonna say. The thing is, I'm gonna say for the win. It's yeah, for of course, the win. win. 
But you know me, I'm a lover girl. I can only love someone at once. I can only love every, one at Every time. two weeks. Every two weeks. Mm. <laughs> See, it's either you, you date once, you date multiple at one time, or you can do me, where mm. I date one every two weeks. Mm. That's I think that's my balance. I can't do balance. You know, it's either you know, yeah. come see or come sir. Come sir. You get you get. Mm-hmm. I personally I'm for multiple dating, but come I just up. can't do it. I can't do it. Like I don't have the attention span, which is why a lot of people are like, why don't you do group episodes? I don't have the attention span for bad no, people. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. I like. I want to look at you. Joyce will be in the car. Yeah, I'll be out getting out of the car. My good sis will still be in the car, just on her phone. She doesn't have enough attention to, f- to focus on just one person for too long sometimes, let alone a group of people. I will be about to lock my car. I'll be, Joyce, Joyce, get out. Like, oh, sorry. I'm an all-man, mm-hmm. I'm an all-man. I, mm-hmm. I, I can only try. Yeah. I can only try. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. It's okay, baby. It's difficult to be like me that, that mm. only has time for one That's person. Like you're, the only one, you're, the only, you're the only you. There's nobody like you, baby. Okay, cool, because this sounds very shady. I can only concentrate on one person at a time shayo that needs constant fucking attention oh i would die it kayo kayo shayo would die without attention she is a she is a slag for attention and sometimes i can't give my attention to multiple people so we have shayo who needs attention and i can't give it to her because i'm 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 talking to the love of my life this week i'm so sorry my new one like and please, it's not that I'm I'm thirsty for attention from just not any thirsty, any no. dummy tolu or, or funke. It's mm-hmm. not that. No. It's not. If I love you and you love me, why aren't you giving me attention? <laughs> Do you know what? I fucking hear it. I fucking hear it. Genuine question. If it's, I love you and you love me, be it romantically or platonically, mm-hmm. why are you not giving me attention? I agree. Why can you not? Because the first thing I'm going to do when I feel like you've robbed me of my entitlements of attention of attention i'm going to text you i'm going to say why do you hate me <laughs> i'm not even going to ask you do you it's not an open mm-mm, mm-mm. Why, why do why do you hate me i called you you didn't answer her i what's up you you didn't respond you didn't i facetimed you you ugly bastard mm. you did not answer no no had i have died how would you know when you've deprived me of attention for so long? I y'all said that like Shia, I'm not gonna lie. I, it was only, it's only been like twelve hours. Like relax. <laughs> twelve hours. Do you know how many things could have happened in twelve hours? That's very true. But I'm the same. I think I'm I'm more I'm so different when I'm in my friendships. I love my girls, yeah. But when in a relationship, I am like really obsessive. I think I have an issue. I, th- I think that's mm. why I can only I can only do one, one at a time. Yeah, because the intensity the of, intensity how, you, of yeah. how I like somebody, mm. like I'm super super clingy, mm. and even to the point where I had to Google how not to be clingy because that's I sad. said God <laughs> release me from this <laughs> bondage, release me from this bondage from the of chains, cling- or from the change shackles. of clinginess because well, bruv, we, and if but I get bored of people easily, which is why the two week thing happens because like mm. I'll be clingy and obsessive for like two weeks. You're, and yes, like you're so obsessive. I, I am obsessive. Yes, <gasps> I am. I, I in a relationship, I am very obsessive. Mm. Thank you very much. I can't, but I'm obsessive for like two weeks. Mm. You would get the listen. That's the best two weeks of your life. Ali Express orders take longer. Like. I like a fucking muff. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I die rejuvenate into another bad bitch for another real nigga. <laughs> per, 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 per. Mm. So we're saying we're saying um dating multiple pet men at win. once. Win. I'm saying win. I feel like girls should do it more. I feel like we've been taught to date one at a time, one mm. at a time, because you will look like a slag or whatever or a whore. Listen, I'm not afraid to look like a slag. I mean, who, who, gives fuck? who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? The black who community. Gives a the black community is the ones that give a fuck. The white guys don't care. Are you the one I'm fucking? It's true. Like, ugh, don't talk about. Don't speak on my pussy, bro. Are you? Are you, can, the, are you? Are you the one I'm? I'm caressing and squeezing and loving. A lot loving. of times, the guys that What's call your you business? slags, the guys that want to be throwing slags around, don't get pussy. There's I been. There, I remember there, there was a guy that. And if they do, pull, when they do, they don't know what to do with they it. They don't know what to do. They with don't know it. how to handle the it. The best four seconds of their life. My bro. mind will. The best four seconds of their life. That's all you can give. Silly That's Buddha. all you can fucking give. But I'm saying win to dating my open pen men. Again, vulnerable. I told you I can't do it. But if I could, bruv, I'd be like, huh. a, I'd be, 
could be a total slag. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't just a slag. I, I was, was a total, total slag. slag. <laughs> Man. Right, Jigadak. Mm. Oh, obviously, that's your friend. You and your, your me leopard, and my le- print, your leopard print. Your leopard print. Just let me know. Come on, get le- leopard print jackets. Fur fur jackets. Game over, bro. Okay, <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. Win or bin? Mm-hmm. This is an interesting one. I like this game, by the way. I like to play. I know you like to play games. Thank you. Total slag. Mm-hmm. Right, win or bin? <laughs> Going for drinks on the first date. So a guy meets up with you, a guy likes you, he's like, oh yeah, you know, I want to take for drinks. Let's go to the bar and drink. Mm, I hear it, but for me, personally, I know how I get after a couple drinks. <laughs> On the high mm-hmm. <laughs> After a couple of drinks, I, I end up looking like a rat. <laughs> On the high <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, <laughs> no, because me, get a bit if, loose. If, listen, get a bit if, loose. if I like some, if I like somebody mm-hmm. and like, obviously like they like me back and whatever mm-hmm. and everything is re- reciprocating and reciprocaling, mm-hmm. then I'm not going to lie to you. Then like, I'm going to, I'm going to lips you minimum. I'm going to lips you minimum. Do you get, you now want to say, oh, I want to take you for drinks. Me that don't know. I don't know how to drink. Listen. Joyce, please, let's not tell the story because it ended up with me in tears. <laughs> Do not give <laughs> fucking Shia a drink. I'm going to say it she again. She says, after aligning 17 different Yeah, but you're with me, that's drinks. different. Do not give Shia a drink and then leave her. The last time Shia got drunk with me, I left her for 15 minutes. I came back. She was crying. Her heel was broken. <laughs> It wasn't even the heel, it was the strap. The Please. strap was broken. <laughs> and it was like midnight and she was crying. I look good though. And then I remember, <laughs> I, you you did look Thank fantastic. Thank you, it's fine. And one of the girls was like, I was minding my business. I don't know who I was talking to here, but I was I was talking to some one fan and, and somebody came to me, they were like, Joyce, <laughs> you need to go get your friend. I'm a child, man. And I said, fucking hell, what this <laughs> bitch do? I didn't even ask what, I just fucking, I said, where's she? She goes, she's somewhere there. I said, fucking hell, I'm gonna go get her. This girl was on a fucking chair. Or she was on a fucking wall, sitting and crying at like midnight. And I just thought, she was like, Joyce, and the cut, Joyce, I'm gonna vomit. I'm gonna vomit. I said, Duh. I said, girl, this bitch, I'm a fucking girl. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? You've gotten better. Do you know when I realized that that, that one scarred you? And it scarred I me. That because the next the one time- that scarred me before was crazy. That's when I stopped drinking oh, yeah, for like six <laughs> months. <laughs> It was it was shame, I think shameful. About that on the last oh episode. my god, it was shameful, man. It was so bad. Did you speak about this on the last I episode? I didn't. I, did, I didn't. Had it even happened by then? Did it happen? I didn't even. I didn't even. I don't think it. Are you, had. Gonna, tell, are you gonna tell them what happened? Basically, so I was drinking. What a life! Too bad. What a life! Too bad. But I, I went to go. I went to go. Um, I went to go meet this guy, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and um, we've been talking for a while or whatever. And um, I went to his place. Um, and we're just chilling. We were drinking. Me, like I said, I don't know how to drink. I, you know, when people have like their drink, mm-hmm. their go to is either um, kidding on What's Bacardi. that? The, the Bacardi and Coke. It's either um. Uh, what's vodka, that thing? Vodka and, and pineapple or yeah. some, something. I don't have a drink because I'm like, I'm a whore for enjoyment. I like the taste of different things. Do you get? Each drink yeah, has greedy. a different Very level of enjoyment to it. Somebody, sure yeah. you get. So he's giving me drinks and whatever. We're drinking together. We're drinking together. We're having vodka. We're having wine. We're having this. We're having that. Next minute, I'm thinking, whoa. <laughs> the head is twisting. That vision is doing me somehow. We do what we gotta do and whatever. Afterwards, I'm just like, oh, what's this? Mm, what's this feeling? <laughs> I said, what's this feeling that I have felt before? But this one is different. This one was different. This one was a different feeling. Bless you, my dear. <laughs> Bless you, my dear. This one was a different feeling. So I was just like, yeah, and no, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, like, I need. I, I literally thought I was just like, I'm gonna be sick. Bless you, my dear. I'm gonna be sick. So I was like, ah, right, cool. But the toilet's here. Blah 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 blah. I said, ah, right, call. Cool. Thank you. I walk with my naked self. <laughs> to the toilet. She's a city, darling. Oh, darling, city. city. Hey, city, darling. I'm walking. Trying to keep it classy a keep little bit. Classy. I run into that. His nice toilet. 
the projectile vomit. <laughs> this one was not even ordinary vomit. It was projectile. It was coming like it was projectile. Wow. It was projectile. What made it worse is the fact that I needed to pee. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that has gone through this because sometimes when you don't know how to handle your liquor, it just happens, innit? So I was, pro- I was, as I was about to projectile vomit, I needed to pee at the same time. And obviously, when you're throwing up, the pressure, the pressure, the pressure is got. Uh, and then your blood, uh, uh, the pressure is my getting dear. worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is <laughs> getting <laughs> worse. The pressure was getting worse. It was getting worse as I was about to vomit. And I, it literally was like, okay, cool, I need to pee. I need to vomit. Which one is going to be easier to clean up? <laughs> you got to. You gotta calculate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was like, ah, cool, boom. Which one is going to be easier to clean up? Quickly. I said, there's no way I would sooner die than clean up my own vomit. What do I look like? Responsible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, resp- I, I'm not responsible. Somebody. I'm so sorry. I'm not. So I'm there. I choose to vomit in the toilet as I'm vomiting. Come on here. <laughs> tinkling. It's not even tinkling. It was a whole fucking waterfall. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Just stick to the liquor that you know and drink it. Don't mix your drinks. Don't, fam. That's the remix, unofficial. But I, I literally was vomiting, peeing at the same time. But the pee, you fortunately, on carpet. I didn't, I, fortunately, I didn't pee on, on the carpet. <laughs> fortunately, I didn't, I didn't pee. I didn't pee on the carpet. Fortunately, 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 I had enough foresight to think, ah, right, cool, boom, it's one or the other. So there was like, um, there was a bucket. You know me, I love, I love Africans. Do you get? No I way. love Africans. Wait, 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 cleaning supplies I, I don't even know why, <laughs> why it was there it wasn't like bucket bath it was just like one container mm-hmm. i quickly grab it as i'm running into the toilet i place it down i pee in the in the i vomit in the toilet, in the toilet. into the toilet and i pee into my into the into, container. The, into the container that he puts his that he put i have no sex. idea i have no idea no idea what he does with that container but what it was at that moment you know when like something is happening and then there's like a pause it's like yep that's me. <laughs> You're probably yeah. wondering how I got up in this situation. Well, it all started when da, 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 da. I had that moment. It was an epiphany. It's like Shayo, you're a classy babe. This is the most, this is the most grimy, <laughs> most disgusting, most baseless thing you have ever Every done time. in your life, That's bro. A I had to G check myself. Whilst vomit was coming out, urination was coming out. It was disgusting. I was so disgusted in myself, right? I I finished vomiting now, and you know with vomits, <laughs> when you yeah, feel that, here, see, five, four, from you're just heaving, 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 heaving. When you think it's finished, there's more to come. There was more to come. <laughs> that pressure <sighs> was getting worse. It was so bad, brother. It was so bad, but I'm I'm sharing this because when it happens, it happens, isn't it? We can look back at laugh. Honestly, we can look back at laugh. When I she told you. me, yeah, I stopped drinking I, for like six months. She, I swear no, it wasn't you. six months. Of course, it wasn't drink. six months. You know, I'm, I'm your bad like to exaggerate, man. She Come literally on. she stopped drinking for like one month. It was like was two like, and a half. Was it two and a half? Two and a half. Because I I, I even stopped drinking before I told you that I was, I was no longer drinking. Oh, mm. you told me the story after. Yeah, man. When she told me the story, I was thinking, I said to this girl, "There's no fucking way you done that." Disgusting. There's no. F- See, that's what happens when you go out and drinks on the first day. That's what they want you to do. They this want that, to that, oh, yeah, that, yeah. So you can be pooing that's why, I, that's why I say <laughs> pooing and vomiting. No, honestly, <laughs> that's why I say I'm it. saying no. I cleaned the. I clean. I pulled out the the thing. I cleaned the bucket and whatever. He had cleaning. Did you, did you know? Huh? Did you know? You will never know. He may have heard. <laughs> he may have heard me do. <laughs> like I was motivating, but motivating some titties or something. <laughs> Brother. That's disgusting. That is honestly the worst thing. I, will, I don't think I that's ever never that, in that, my life. That, that, I can never do that. There's, I've, I've had a situation before where I accidentally ate, I accidentally drunk sport milk, and then I was vomiting and then pooing. At so, the same but time. I, I chose, I chose to poo. Of course, I chose to die. I think it would have been very weird if anybody. <laughs> 
unless you have one of those weird kinks for i pieces. chose to poo but i vomited in like a bin there was a bin and i vomited but that's the only time i've ever done both at the same oh, time bad, but man. i said to god for me i can't i can't do the that's, drinking yeah dates. i can't i can't Guys, do I'm drinking so no, i don't like drink I've, I've now nah. had a bit more disciplined i'm now a bit more disciplined and i don't mix drinks so what, what's, your, what's your drink now i don't know Whichever one is the is whichever there. one I I have mm-hmm. on the night, that's the one I'm gonna sit to. Do you know what she is? Because when we went to Whole Boys, went to Whole Boys, and then somebody gave us Patroni said, "Sorry, I can't drink this." I said, <sighs> wow, should I say no to a drink? Listen, she has evolved. Listen, she has changed. Thank you. She has elevated. It's the growth for me. It's the growth for me. It's the growth for me. It's never, growth I, never for me. again will I piss my nigga and vomit. And vomit at the same time. Life. In your, somebody else's crib. Nah, do you know what? Yeah, sometimes they say if you don't hear, you will learn. That mm, one is a lesson. And I, huh. listen, this is your. I've been playing with fire all my life, all my adult life, drinking, mixing, drinking, mixing, drinking, People mixing. People listen to this. People listen to this. This is your hearing. Please. This is your hearing. This is your warning. warning. Don't be like me you in that land. aspect. Are you will learn? But okay, I'm gonna say uh, going for drinks on the first bin. day. I'm gonna say fucking bin, man, bin. bin. They just wanna recycle. fuck you, bro. They wanna drunk. They want. They want you to be loosened up so they can fuck you. Drunk you. They better take you. Take you. They, 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 they either they feed you. you or they exercise your ass by mm. taking you to Because you, you don't know what kind of drinker I am. You don't what know what, do drink, what kind of drinker that going person for drinks? is. I don't like... get that white going for drinks. Like, you're trying to loosen me up so you can start playing with my nips. I will, <laughs> fuck, your sh- I will fuck you up, bro. And then I'll fuck you after by accident. And then I'll call shout and be like, shit. <laughs> and I'm like, where are you now? Just drive and pull up in the... Oh, oh. <laughs> in pull up in the... Oh. <laughs> nah, seriously, honestly, because when... You know when you're, when you're, when you're, when you drink, yeah? It's like it just makes you, and, and you're attracted to the person. You just loosen. It's, da- it's dangerous. You just loosen a little bit, like you it's loosen dangerous. a little bit. <laughs> you loosen, <laughs> bruv. It's there's a loosening in the in the in the in the esophagus mm, and the mm. and the estrogen womb. Mm, mm. There's something there. in the body inside, right there inside the testronomical testronomical um, esophagus esophagus in the diaphragm pancreas pancreas. Yeah, there's so much right when there. you when you drink that drink mm, and you're with somebody you're very attracted you're to. very attracted to you will see the uterus lining as if i need to drink as an excuse the uterus lining will be opening up opening up Spirit opening up, up opening up opening up without your knowledge it will just be moisturizing itself lubricating itself lubricating itself like e45 cream mm-hmm. then you will not know like you astro will, like <laughs> <laughs> i love astro you know astro no fragrance cream that mm. shit don't cream that shit still keeps your shit dry man okay really? we're gonna be, yes Astra, nah, that shit. I, I remember Astro, you know the, Astro, the, the blue, blue thing. Yeah, I remember when I creamed my legs and someone said your leg is dry. I looked. Down I'm so sorry. Like, you got dry skin. You have excessively dry skin because Astro Exc- moisturizes me. Exc- Exclusively. Exc- what is that? What I said? Exclusively. Ex. 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 You said extreme. Extremis. Ex. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Extremis- excessive. Excessively. Excessive. <laughs> excessive. You're trying to make me doubt my intelligence. You get to make me doubt my intelligence. They can never take your masters from you, girl. Are my hypodermis. Hypodermis. Mm. <laughs> they can never take your masters from you, baby. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're not being coloured wigs on black women. I want to throw in coloured contacts as well. Colour contacts, bin. Mm-hmm. Coloured wigs, wigs. Win. Win. Why? Have you seen black women with the <sighs> burnt orange? Did you was was Joyce recording when she had that um burn? You recorded an episode with that burn orange wig I in did, it. I did. Don't I did. piss me off. I did. Don't piss me off. I did. Can I just say I love. Don't black piss women. me off. Black women, it, like, cause I feel like sometimes I hear conversations of women being afraid to try new things because we have been limited to certain colors that are natural to mm. us. I love. There was a season of summer where I saw black women in the greens. Mm. They had the pink hair. They had I'm not I, when I mean black women. I'm not talking about the light skinned women. No, we're not talking about the racially ambiguous. We're not talking about the racially ambiguous. We're not talking about the ambiguity. We're talking about the, the, dark, am, the ambiguous ambers. We're not the, talking about them. No, we are talking about the dark, rich cocoa. If you, mm. if you coffee, if you mahogany, coffee, mo- terracotta, oh! cocoa. You don't know I'm a poet. You don't know oh, I'm a poet. Get me. Listen. Them colors there. Oh! When I see black women doing them colours, blonde. Listen, don't let any fucking body tell you you can't do blonde as a black woman. I hate Listen. that I hate that narrative. For a long time, I sh- you know what, yeah, I think that burnt orange yeah, was the first ever colour I did outside of Is black. Is it? Yeah. Outside of black. Mm. Because I was scared, bruv. They were saying that it weren't for us girls. They were saying that the 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 the, 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 the colours is not for us black women. In my world, on my planet, you're gonna tell me what I can do. You can imagine. For a long time, listen, I love seeing black women. In my world, on my planets, you're going to tell me what I can do. You can imagine. 
can never be me. I love I'm seeing so black women in pink wigs, gold wigs, green wigs, orange wigs, blue wigs. Listen, black girls. As long are as it one looks color. nice. It's like when they used to say, "Oh, black women can't wear red lipstick." <gasps> Do you know what? I fought with that for it a very can, long time. It can never be well with your grandfather. Ever. It can never be well with your great grandfather. It ha- it's not well with your father. You never. know that. You, you know it's not well your with your father. father. Bastard. It, not even just the the male part of your of your of your ancestry. It can never be well with your mother. Too. It can never be well with your grandmother. Not as well. If you think that black women, like what se- what is that? I. Do you know what? You're so interested. I'm so in confused. For a like, long time black women were told they couldn't wear I, and do you know what you've just unlocked a memory because i remember buying ruby Roo mac mm. when it came out it was Ruby. that was, it was that was that was the it girl that was lip, the it lip, girl lipstick the thing that one that that would leave ruby your lips looking like sandpaper mm, it was my so mind it was mac mac that mm. shit dry and i remember putting it on and i was thinking oh my god yeah. and i remember how nervous i felt when i came out because not only i'm i'm dark skin but my lip is huge you know mm. my lip is big love it juicy I'll thank you babe. at that time i was the, the, the black girls with big lips weren't winning is mm. what was worth not being dark we don't skin. have big lips i'm so sorry we have lips lips period it's not even big lips it's lips it's period. lips you're right. <laughs> what you do you right. want me to do we have lips you right we you're have right. lips yeah we do we do and i used to be so scared to wear colors on is my it? lips yes yeah, so scared the red lip thing was a com- was a turnaround for me. It was a complete mental turnaround because I finally was like, I actually look cute in this. I actually like this, and I don't care if it makes my lip look. I don't massive. even. I don't. Do you know what it is? It's crazy because I don't even think I, I remember you s- ever seeing you in red. I don't think I've ever no, seen you was, in red. Because that's because that's a preference now. Because I I don't I generally don't wear red lipstick. But I'm talking about maybe when I was 16, 17, 18, around the time where we weren't allowed to wear it. Mm. Now I'm a gloss babe dye. I'm a nudes and a browns dye. From from them um those um hair shops. Hair, hair shop, shop lip gloss. Hair shop lip gloss. That's me, babe. Strong lip liner. That's my bag. Oi. But at that time, I was I never used to put anything on my lips. That's Mostly wild. I would do is if I didn't even like putting too bright of lip gloss. Now if you see the way my lips, I was spraying lip gloss like it's engine oil shine, on my shine. lips. Shine, 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 baby. shine, glossy baby, like a glossy baby. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but honestly, I'm so I'm for the win. Con- uh, colored, in, colored oh, eye contact. Sorry, we need to leave that leave one. Leave that one. Sorry, I'm I so agree. sorry. Do you know it's how scary. sexy brown eyes are? Yeah. Why don't we? Oh, I'm so sorry. Brown eyes. Brown eyes. In the light, with like dark, like brow features and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like, I'm so sorry. Me that loves eye contact. You do because you're. How can I make eye contact with somebody with when you? I'm not even looking at your eyes. It's your eye is green. I'm it, not looking at your eye. I don't. I, I feel like it. It's, it for me. It stems from a place of self hate. I'm sorry. It, do, it doesn't. Because I think it doesn't me, look nice. I've I've learned to appreciate my body, appreciate every aspect of myself, and not have to change it to Europeanize myself. Mm. And and I guess the argument is a lot of people are saying that there's that there's a uh, maybe there's some black people that have blue eyes, but bitch, you don't. So remove them. <laughs> <laughs> The ones that have blue eyes naturally. Man, so you, can, can you, you, you can't relate. You can't. You just. You can't relate. You can't Remove relate, them, baby. Off, off that off it, from, no. It's not for you. Think the it. one that have blue eyes will wear their leave, blue eyes naturally. Leave, leave them, them to have their blue eyes. Have. Don't use it as an argument that somebody else has. Remove that. Brown eyes are. So, that's that's just nice. They're so sexy. Like, I just love. I, and I hate. Do you know what? Sometimes I hate the way society has made us hate a lot of things about ourselves. But mm. I'm so happy for the new embracement. Of just being dark skin, being beautiful, being just be excellent. literally, in other words, being yourself, being yourself. Can you imagine? Like, white fragility has really created a system and society mm. and environment in which they make so many black women, black men second guess their beauty, their attractiveness, their intelligence, their mm-hmm. capability, their ability. It can never be me. I'm so sorry. Per. It can never be me. Like, per. I remember, like, you know when like you're younger and like you're just finally being introduced to like these systems and these societies the history and stuff like that mm-hmm. i remember thinking are you fucking mad because to me black beauty is the epiphany of beauty yeah to me personally i can have that perspective as a black woman damn right i'm gonna have that perspective what what kind of self hating yeah. silly billy would i look like if i didn't think that black women and black men are the most beautiful come on fight me come and beat me yeah come on fight <laughs> me come and beat me come on fight me come and beat me like i just don't so because i i had that mentality i don't know if it's because as a result of the environment that i grew up in with my parents and stuff like that but even them they weren't really they didn't make 
do like a singing song about about it they were just living and existing do you get in yeah. their beauty in like just accepting themselves you get so finding out about all of these systems the history the societies the mentality the philosophy yeah. the pseudo-scientific nonsense that racism is plagued with i just said anyways <laughs> <I'm out. laughs> i said Bitch, okay <laughs> Bitch, I'm out. not me though y'all stay safe like y'all stay safe yeah, I'm, I'm touched i'm gonna say i'm gonna say win Whew. win to black women doing and being whoever the fuck they want and win to black women experimenting with hair colors Experiment with hair color like and being a motherfucking self but we are going to move on i just want to say something guys we have but not got been to contact <laughs> been to con- yeah been to contact of it we haven't got a are you smart this week because shayo has already played but we have a are you smart for you guys okay so i want you guys in the comments to tell me the question no the answer to this question and the three people who get it first will be shouting out in the next episode bad boys and girls are you motherfucking ready Ooh. and don't fucking tell them the answer you are i love the way you assume i know the answer but <laughs> yes because the way i've been drinking this because <laughs> you a master bitch mm-hmm. right let's go name three movies starring british actor daniel kaluuya Name three movies starring British actor Daniel. First three people that tell me in the comments will get a shout out in the next episode. It's CNT, baby. Okay, we are gonna move on to hot topics of the week and of course it has been a chaotic week and we're gonna go straight into the grit of things oh, with the hot topics so we have got jackie aina who released one of her candles for the brand forever mood and she decided to call it sora soke the phrase meaning speak up was popularized during the tragedy that occurred after the police brutality massacre that happened at Lekki Tollgate in October 2020, where young Nigerians were protesting against SARS. So, obviously, Jackie Aina has decided that she wanted to call a candle soccer Sora uh, Sora uh, okay. mm. which means to speak, speak up. up. But people were confused as to why she why? was calling it because one. It is in reference to a very traumatic thing that happened in Nigeria. And two, I'm going to put two. Two, there's no, there's no. What does it smell like? What does sorrow? So, okay, what, what, what would that smell, smell like? like? <laughs> <laughs> bad like breath. Blood, blood, bad blood, breath. Blood and bullets. Blood, blood and, and bullets. bullets. For me, my thing is this. If it was a thing where it was, obviously, she's clearly got the name from the, the movement. If it was a thing where, because as a Nigerian woman, each of these proceedings is going to go, 50% of these proceedings is going to go to help the young people in Nigeria, for example, or the NSARS movement, I can understand that. that. But for me, for you to use that name as a Nigerian woman, bearing in mind, I heard, um, and I was seeing people talking about it, that during the NSARS movement, she wasn't very vocal about it. Her being, obviously, she's a Nigerian, African-American influencer, a prolific one. But the people kind of felt like she didn't use her platform to speak we did about not the yet matter. Fame. We did, apparently, everybody they didn't hear anything. We did not yet fame. They didn't hear anything. Honestly, it, what what do you think about the situation, Shara? For me, I don't understand one why you would think that that is an appropriate name for a candle because candle names are supposed to give some sort of insight almost into what it smells like one that's just on the very basic level Mm -hmm. but on the more social political realm of things Mm -hmm. you have trivialized the suffering of the nigerians the lagosians the innocent people who suffered by the hand of those bastard sars police officers officers. And I think I even quote tweeted it because I saw this literally as I was um, coming, um, as we were coming to do this podcast. I was just like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I genuinely couldn't believe it. Because what happens with diasporans, right, is that they are so 
disconnected from African cultures. Yep, yep, that yep. What they, their attempts to represent the culture, African cultures, is often very, it feels like cosplay. It's oh shallow. Oh my day, shy It's cosplay. Shy it's a costume to them. Shy It's a costume to it's them sh- because it's, it's, sh- it's, it's shallow. It's like cultural appropriation within our community. Because to be honest, you are having a brand that's supposed to represent your culture, but yet you are so distant from it. You're so, so, far, so, removed so far removed from it. So far removed from it. And a so lot, of, far removed a from lot it. of African Americans are like that. I've been shouting this, especially the ones. It's true. Especially the ones that have come from that are not first generation in in in, Af- in America. Obviously, African culture has become a trend mm-hmm. since Black Panther since beyonce it's all these are all trivializations of african cultures they're not accurate representations of them Mm -hmm. which wouldn't be a problem if they were not parading and masquerading as if they were as if they were yeah in the launch at the launch party that um she did for sorosuke Mm -hmm. everybody was wearing Ankara. everyone was doing this everyone was doing this was even mismatched there was no there was no uniformity of of it do you get every, I, even, I was even are. seeing the seeing the materials uh, it's even plastic <laughs> it's even what plastic is this? i was seeing i was just like these are trivializations of african cultures and, what and it, it comes is, yeah. exactly and it comes from this very shallow understanding shallow perception and shallow embrace of it because I mean, how yeah. like how how but when it's time see I, this is the thing i feel like obviously burner boy i have my i have my love and hate for him but during sars movement he really represented for me as somebody that generally cares about his community using his platform to speak on something that damaged something to, that's damaged something close to home mm. for him for me if in that situation i think it's very disrespectful and distasteful not only that it's disingenuous and inauthentic it's, yeah it's inauthentic that when it was during the time you did not use your platform to speak on the situation in the in the level where it looked like you care yeah cool fair enough you put the fucking picture up and you did end sars whoa 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 but then you now want to then profit off the culture that when it's time for whilst, you to bastard, it, whilst bastardizing it, because that's what she's doing, you're bastardizing it. the culture. Hundred percent. People 100%. died. Literally, people like were, were the, slaves. And if she was, if people she was passionate about it, if she genuinely cared about it, she would know in her mind. And that's the thing. People are like, "That's so decisive. How can you do that?" It's because there's a disassociation between her and Nigeria. There's a decision between her. I'm not gonna say Nigeria. Her and the situation. Because if she was really, nah, fuck it, and Nigeria if, as well. I don't, want to, well. I don't want to speak because I don't know her. Don't I don't want to know her. And Nigeria as well. I'll say it. <laughs> and Nigeria as well. I love... I, I, anyways, let's let's call a spade a spade. You know here we speak the truth in it. And I love Jackie Anna. I've been watching Jackie Anna since she did pu- Miss Little Pumpkin 05. So I'm a fan. But let's call a spade a spade. If that affected you as a Nigerian woman, the way it should have, you would have never put you would that have never. name. And I, I, I think maybe it's a thing that maybe the disconnect linguistically mm-hmm. and um yeah the the linguistic disconnect in the sense that she, i don't know if she speaks yoruba i don't know if i she don't know if she's I'm not gonna lie. If she, I'm gonna if vet, language I'm gonna say is this, cause I, I, because again, jackie i know i really love and appreciate her um she's I great at what she does amazing what she does yeah but I, this one was so it was, how it was, so it was the. It's I really so you can off. see. I feel like for me, you can see the dissociation between her and the culture. Like you can massive. Do you and know it, that that is such a big fear of mine. Yeah, that I, is such that, a big you, fear of you mine. Know, you know me. I'm very very integrated into Nigeria, and it, it hurt us. If something, if something, if you were genuinely felt connected to your people, for me, this wouldn't have even been you conceptualized. Wouldn't have, you, you wouldn't even have thought about it. It wouldn't have been conceptualized. You wouldn't have even thought about to do it. But I think where it is is that there is a dissociation. Her being an African American woman, a real dissociation to her people. And the thing is, it's not her fault. A lot of African Americans are like that. But then I'm not gonna lie. You then have some that are still in root. They they know their people. They love their people. But in this situation <sighs> with Ensars, Shayo, you want to start? I can feel. I can feel. I, you. When you said it's not her fault. Whose is it? Because it most definitely is hers. But you need to had she have no. I, I I get I get the disconnect. I get that. Mm-hmm. But let's talk about. Let's not even talk about it from a cultural perspective. Let's talk about it business wise, mm-hmm. right? 
how do you not do the research it's true what what was the research team what did you have that's the how thing. do you not do the research I, do you know what yeah and i want someone to check this out because you you have a candle business that is centered a, around nigerian culture your culture where you're from how many people on your board are actually nigerian and not even it's I'm not even it's know. not it's not even it's not it's enough to, it's not enough to for them to just be nigerian to be because if she yeah. if she has a board of of culturally disconnected nigerians who don't who aren't familiar with, with this and that blah blah My blah name is if they're just if they, yeah if like, like they're the kind thing, of nigerians yeah. that are even mispronouncing their own names if they're the kind of nigerians that, who that are so, do you get so okay. if they're the kind like, of nigerians oh. similar to her then it's, it's, the it's, it's a mess up it's a mess up it's, it's a mess up because it's, it's not enough to just be it's not enough to just be mm-hmm. the surface just of any type it's yeah. not enough to just be black it's not enough to just be nigerian it's not enough to just be a, it's not enough to just be anything mm-hmm. because then the standards and the bar is in hell it's low mm-hmm. you need to look at like the depth of somebody what they bring culturally I agree. intelligent like you you need to deep things a bit more it's not enough to just have black faces i think in these for me, kind of where things. i was where i was coming from for that point obviously i'm coming up from a sense of we we are british culture so when we talk about being nigerian we are already very in culturally entwined into our into into our culture just because a lot of us are first generation mm. it's not in reference to american people um, african-american people where they're talking about when I'm saying they have to be Nigerian, I'm talking about the way we are Nigerian. Yeah. Where we are Nigerian, but we are also integrated into our culture. We're not just Nigerian by title. We understand our language. Mm. We, we we celebrate our culture. Our culture is a big thing it, for it us. It literally seeps through. It seeps, it's like my Nigerian, being Nigerian is so integrated into my DNA. It's part of my personality. I, it, it, it even, if, even if we try to fight it, I'm it so wouldn't sorry, make it's sense. too strong. It's too strong. It's too strong. It, it'll be like, come back here. I keep saying, I keep come saying, back. there's something about the Nigerian blood is different. It's different. It's very strong. It's fucking Mighty. strong. It's there's a might in it. No one has it. No one has the. the I've never. There's no other culture that is everywhere in different countries in the world. There's Nigerians in China. There's Nigerians in Portugal. There's not. Na- there's Nigerians fucking everywhere. The blood where Nigerians shouldn't don't even have any business. They don't being. have any business. They, they have no business. business. There's Nigerians in Russia. There's like, <laughs> like bruv. What you do? They don't even like you. But yeah, for me, I think it really shows the cultural dissociation, and I feel like again, yeah. I'm kind and of. I think, and I think we want that's to talk about cultural appropriation mm-hmm. and when other cultures do it, but like you said, it's not enough to be black, and I it's think that's what a lot, a lot of people have come into this space. I'm coming. This is why I said before. I believe in gatekeeping. Afro, they're trying to do the Afrocentric thing. But if you ask them to to, to, to mention free free Af- African countries, they're confused. And again, this is not just solely to African Americans, because I know there's so many African Americans that listen to this shit, and they are conk, bro. They mm. know their shit. I'm talking about universally, where now it's become a trend yeah. to be they Afrocentric. It. They make it like they like don't I said, actually cosplay. know their shit. They don't know where they come from, and not only do they, they don't appreciate and care when it's time to care, because a yeah. lot is happening in Nigeria right now. Are you speaking about that? But you want to, yeah. but, but you're you're cool with and I think you, and you Kara, know what material like there's so there's so much happening and it's understandable if maybe it could be that she doesn't she just wasn't aware mm-hmm. she just wasn't aware because there's yeah. a lot of information out in the world you can't know everything you can't be um, insightful on everything so maybe it was it was a genuine oversight mm-hmm. and she just thought. It's an empowering statement, and so it'd be nice to name a candle like that. Maybe. Yeah. But I think that that also doesn't go to excuse the fact that it was a... It's... What kind of what kind of oversight is that? But that it's a yeah, very it's a big, big oversight. oversight. But then, it, then that's what I'm saying. We need to understand the concept, the, the concept as a whole. We need to understand the situation as a whole. Mm. Did she make that mistake because she's so distant from the culture that she's yeah. trying to represent that she didn't see it? Because me as a Nigerian woman, as a Nigerian woman, I can't make that mistake. Can but then happen? we have a lot of Nigerian fronts, frontiers, mm. that they're Nigerian by 
ancestry by, by, by putting it in their bio. By, by ancestry book but mm. they're not really nigerian like that again i'm following burner boy who really led he didn't have to you could have gone hidden his mansion and chilled mm. but he felt the passion of his people that's what i'm saying and i think that's the, that's the situation that we're in yeah. where it's like cool the reason why there's an oversight because a lot of times what you're, you're just nigerian by name and by title yeah that's it you don't know your culture you don't so. feel for us you don't passion for us like that's the end of it yeah uh, after afro beats what do you know yeah and even then, they don't know the lyrics. They don't know the lyrics. <laughs> Was they're still fighting for the Yoruba? Like yeah. that's it. That's it for me. But yeah, no, it's it's it just doesn't. Like I just don't. Anyways, for I, me, it's like obviously this 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 just happened today in it so we're still having yeah. an evolving conversation about it yeah i guess um, more information will be released more information will be, let's, be let's, released let's, let's, wait, let's wait for the, for the Listen, statement let, let's wait because for i've the seen statement. quite i've seen it quite quite a lot on my twitter oh it's hot right now so um hopefully we'll get to her and her company and her board of whatever and they can maybe after they, they should they, after they finish pushing it to sephora and everything for them to re i don't even let's know i'd be surprised for them to recall the thing back change the packaging but, and everything you know, we'll it's, it's just and i think you know what that's the that's why one of my biggest fears is for my children to not be able to speak and understand you but like that's I such agree. a big fear and that's I why agree. i said before like that like the linguistic disconnect is crazy Thanks because I'm language trying. is something is so intrinsic to na- it's literally one of the the pillars of a culture mm-hmm. do you get yeah. so so it's okay that's that's literally a yoruba term yeah so maybe she doesn't maybe she's perceiving it from a, a more kind of a, like african-americanized perspective mm-hmm. of it so it's like yeah, she's it's not really cool deep in the she's gravity deep in. and the context behind it yeah do you get but i think i i, I, I don't know. i don't feel i feel like it was I'm gonna say this. I feel like it was an honest mistake, but it opens I a bigger I conversation. I think it may have been, but it I, I think it's a bigger it's, conversation. It's one of those mistakes that you kind of, it's like how, how, yeah, with all of the with the context that we have of, um, of Jackie's Jackie Aina culturally, mm-hmm. knowing that she's a Nigerian, is she Yoruba? Is she Yoruba? I was a. I believe she's Yoruba, but that's the thing well. it, that's the thing she, like that's a, the disconnect it, it, for me is, is like it, nigerian by title mm, it's yeah. nigerian by title but mm. guys we are gonna have to close there um it's been a phenomenal phenomenal episode thank you so much to our queen okay. miss simply shio for coming honestly this has been one of my favorites man it's I had very a fu- fun. i've had a good see time. the way i expose my, i expose myself about my my bad anyways habits. listen this is cnt we only know honesty here but where do we <laughs> find you girl i'm not a liar where do, we um, find you? where do you find me? You can find me um, Instagram, simply Shayo. No H, <laughs> just S A Y O. Different alphabet and that, get me? Um, so um, TikTok, it is simply underscore Shayo because I believe there's somebody that's already simply Shayo, the imposter. Yes. The fake. 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 Inauthentic. Mm-hmm. Disingenuous. And Twitter, I think it's also simply underscore Shayo yes I yes believe. yes of yes. course guys make sure you guys follow my good sister go and also and make sure that you guys nominate her for content oh yeah of the i year. always forget <laughs> consecrate of the year yes don't worry i remind you she <laughs> she's also been nominated for a guap award mm-hmm. for content creator of the year so make sure that you guys vote for her and while you're at it scroll down and find Cotton thank you there's a lot of scrolling like there's, 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 there's scrolling, best scrolling. Best scrolling. but the links are in our is it is the link the in your link bio, will be in the bio. I'm yeah, links are in our bio. it's the same thing it's the same guap yeah it's guap but yeah but yeah so that's it that being said Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Places, juices. Love you. Bye bye, succulents.